All right, so really quick before we get into today's video, I just want to announce that I'm having a super huge giveaway, um, and it's super easy. So three people are going to win 10 bucks each, so not just for one person, three people are going to win this giveaway, and all you have to do, I swear it's the easiest 10 bucks you'll ever make. Just click the link on the screen. It's going to take you over to my second channel um, and on the newest video over there on the second channel. Just hit subscribe and then comment done on that video and you are automatically entered to win the giveaway. So three people are going to win 10 bucks, right? So you do have a decent chance. So if you guys really, really, really want to help me out, that would be amazing. Otherwise, here is the trick. All right, so you're going to start this off with just a normal deck of cards and you'd have your spectators uh, go ahead and examine the box if they wanted to. All right, you set that off to the side. Same thing, you're going to be using your pockets, so make sure that they know they can inspect this as well. It's completely empty for now. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're going to mix up the deck. All right, so if the spectator was here, if you were here, I would let you mix up the deck any which way you wanted to because you're truly going to pick any random card from the middle of the pack. All right, so let's say, for example, you wanted to pick this card here. All right. So let's say you go ahead, you remember that card because we're going to mix this up into the middle, get it lost somewhere where we're not going to be able to find it very easily. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. And let's just do this one more time just to make sure that it's completely shuffled up. Now, since your card is lost, I'm going to have to find it. All right. So you tell your spectator, look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick the cards inside this box. And truly, I want you guys to be able to see this is completely empty. So once you stick the cards into the box, you give it a nice shut and you show your spectators, look, the box is completely shut. There's no way I can touch the card, okay? Now remember, this pocket was completely empty. It's still gonna be empty. All I'm gonna do is stick this box into my pocket, okay? So it's inside my pocket and should be within two seconds. I can go in, remove one card. That's gonna be your card from the beginning of the trick and the best thing of all is that I'm trying to do this slowly. The box is still completely shut. So I hope you guys liked the uh, trick and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. So you would just start it off, you'd have your spectator, just you know, you could have them shuffle up the cards, it really doesn't matter, it's going to be a completely random selection uh, for the spectator. So let's say once the spectator is done shuffling up the cards, they pick just any random card from the middle and the best part is all you have to do is show them there, show them the card. So you might not actually know this, uh, the card, till the very end of the trick. Um, and you know, just copy the performance. Basically, you know, definitely hand out the box to be examined because it's a completely normal box. You're not doing anything with it. And then I'm um, obviously let the spectators make sure that your pocket is empty as well. That's a big thing. You just want them to trust you. All right. So let's say this is the spectator's card and all you're gonna have to do is put it into the middle of the deck somewhere and bring it back to the top. So there are a bunch of different ways to bring a card from the top. So in this case, what I did in the performance was I just did a double undercut. So, and I'll leave a link to the screen um, for another way to do this as well. But basically, you just put the card into the middle of the deck and you just shove the card into the middle while pressing down. So there's the card sticking out, okay? And you push down with your thumb and in at the same time and that's gonna cause a break with the thumb. Okay, so from the front, spectators can't really see it. From the side, they can. All you're doing is I'll leave a link to the double undercut. You're just taking cards from the top, moving it to the bottom, and eventually you're taking the cards from the break, moving it to the top, and boom, their card is now officially on top of the deck. All right, so the spectators think that their card is mixed up. Okay, you've done your double undercut. You could do some riffle shuffle. Just make sure to leave that card right on top of the deck and you do whatever you want, right, in this point. With the card on top, you tell your spectators, look, obviously I have no idea where your card's gonna be, all right? So let's see, maybe the box could actually help us a little bit. So I'll go ahead, and this is the only trick, right? That, well, not the only trick, but this is the biggest part of the entire move, or the entire effect, and it's not even really sleight of hand. Essentially, all you're doing is once the cards are inside the box, all you have to do is you're holding, you know, the box naturally with your thumb on the side, and your other fingers on the other side, it's a pretty natural grip, kind of like if you imagine like a Lego hand, right? All you're doing is applying pressure, a squeezing pressure, just like this. And you can play around with it, but as you guys can see, the moment I apply, apply some pressure, the top two cards, the top one or two cards, want to bow out. So once you get the top card bowed out, just like that, squeeze, squeeze, and the top card's gonna bow out. All you have to do is close the deck 
so that you're closing it and that top card is actually outside of the box. So this will be the only card that's outside of the box. All right, so that's pretty simple. All you do is bow the cards, stick the box down, close it, and then boom, their card is gonna be outside of the box. Now I think the best part about this trick is that while the box is shut, you can be showing the spectators the box and it looks it looks pretty foolproof. You know, obviously there's gonna be a discrepancy between the border of the card and the writing on the box. So if I just push it down with my uh, index finger a little bit, you show your spectators, you know, you can flip the box around as well and it really doesn't look too suspicious as long as they're not, you know, shoving this into their face. Um, but essentially all you do is stick the cards into your pocket and while they're in your pocket, you just reach in and you just keep your thumb on the top of the box, and pry with your index finger, and the card is gonna come out and the box is gonna be shut. So this is truly one of my favorite tricks. It looks amazing, there's no gimmicks, but you know, you might think there looks like there could be, but there really aren't. You can do this anywhere, anytime with a deck of cards in a box. So I hope everybody had a chance to try out for the giveaway and I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.